Uh, welcome to this tutorial about the formation of oxbow lakes in a river. An oxbow lake is one which used to be part of the river but is now a distinct lake in its own right. So how does it form? Well looking at this diagram of an oxbow lake you can see that at one point probably the river flowed up here and round and back here. So how has this lake now formed by itself. Well the best way to see this is in diagram form starting up here in diagram number one. On the outside bend of a meander where the water is flowing fastest and has most energy there will be more erosion and this neck of the meander where it's quite narrow between the river channels this will become eroded more easily and let's have a look at diagram number two, where the neck of the meander has been eroded much more. And you can see what's going to happen during a flood. When a river has most energy, high water levels, lots of discharge, the water will find the path of least resistance. And it's too inefficient for the river to go around the meander. It will simply cut through here during a flood so that by stage three here, the water has carved its own new channel. Now the important, to note, important point to note here is that on the edge of a river, it flows more slowly, and that is where you're more likely to get deposition. So deposition will occur in this area here, on that side of the river, and in fact on the other side of the river too, so that in time, the deposition will build up so much that it will actually cut off the old river channel. And this old river channel now is called an oxbow lake. And in fact, an oxbow lake's other name is a cut off lake. And over time, the oxbow lake water levels will decrease so much through evaporation that um, marshes may develop. Uh, so let's just revisit this photograph again and predict in the future where an oxbow lake may form. Can you see? Hopefully you've identified that the water flowing like so may eventually erode the neck of the meander so much that a new river channel during a flood, and that's an important point to remember, um, may start to flow in this direction here. So the whole area above uh, may form an oxbow lake um, in this area here, quite a large oxbow lake in time. 